So, welcome back to these videos, guys. This is a conversion of units one. Uh, in this particular video, I'm going to be looking at uh, converting between different dimensions in units. Okay, so we'll be looking at in throughout this entire term term of maths. Uh, first dimensions of length, two dimensions of area, three dimensions of volume. Okay, so I'm going to look at converting the units inside those different um, dimensions. Okay, so the first one is when we are converting units of a single dimension. Okay, so that's when we're just talking about length. Okay, so familiar, just going to go with the um, meters kind of measure. So if we're going from millimeters to centimeters, okay? Uh, as we're going up this scale, we will always divide, okay? So millimeters to centimeters, we will divide. Because there are 10 millimeters in a centimeter, get your ruler out and have a check if you don't believe me, uh, we will divide by 10, okay? And then to go from centimeters to meters, we will divide by 100 because there are 100 centimeters in a meter, okay? And when we're going from meters to kilometers, we will divide again, and because there are 1,000 meters in a kilometer, we will divide by 1,000. Right, going the other way around. Kilometers to meters. So one kilometer is 1,000 meters. So that means we have to multiply by 1,000, okay? One meter is 100 centimeters, so that means we multiply by 100, okay? And one centimeter is 10 millimeters, so we multiply by 10, okay? So think about it that if your unit is getting bigger, then you will divide, okay? But if your unit is getting smaller, then you multiply. So let's just say we needed to do um, uh, one, uh, two meters, two centimeters, okay? Uh, that would be two meters times 100 equals 200 centimeters. Now you might have been able to do that off the top of your head and that's great. I uh, just wanted you to see sort of this flow, this pattern. If you're jumping, if you're going from millimeters all the way up to meters, you will divide by 10, then divide by 100, okay? You just, you do all these steps in a row, okay? Right, next we have uh, converting between units of area, okay? So before we just had a single dimension, now we've got two dimensions, okay? So when we have the units of area in general, okay, so you'll have da, 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 all these pieces here. Let's say this was in centimeters, okay? And here we have some measurement here, so some y centimeters, some x amount of centimeters. Each of these little pieces in here will be some a cubic centimeter, okay? Sorry, it's a square centimeter, okay? Because it'll be centimeters times centimeters, okay? Um, you know, area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. Let's just say it was six centimeters times four centimeters. You'll have 24 centimeters times centimeters. Okay, centimeters times centimeters is 24 centimeters squared. Okay, that's why that's kind of why we go to centimeters squared. So when we're doing our conversions, we use the same we use the same kind of thing when we're going up in our scale of units. You will divide. Okay, all right. And when we're going back down, you will multiply. So meters to centimeters squared, centimeters squared to millimeters squared, you multiply. Right, similar thing that if we had for our centimeters to millimeters. So let's uh, have a look at that. I'll just scroll back up, give myself some room. Right, let's just say over here, got some square, and this length here is one centimeter, and this is one centimeter, right? Along this edge is 10 millimeters, okay? Because one centimeter is 10 millimeters, all right? So that means along here, one centimeter is also 
10 millimeters, okay? So you can see that one square centimeter is the same as 10 times 10 uh, square millimeters. So that's why we end up with 100 square millimeters, okay, is one square centimeter. So 100 happens to be 10 squared. So if centimeters to meters before was 100, and so when we're doing area, it's 100 squared. When we're doing meters to kilometers, it was 1,000 before for one dimension. So now when we're squaring the dimension, we end up with 1,000 squared. Okay? Right, converting between units of volume. So I'll talk a little bit about this as well. Let's think about our cubic centimeter that I'm going to draw up here in just the middle of this space. Okay? So we have one centimeter going this way, one centimeter going this way, and one centimeter going out this way. Right, so that's a cubic, one cubic centimeter, right? So remember we said before, this one centimeter is the same as 10 millimeters. This one centimeter is the same as 10 millimeters. This one centimeter is the same as 10 millimeters, right? So if we're going from centimeters to millimeters, you'll see that the volume of this cube now in millimeters is 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000 millimeters cubed, okay? So there are 1,000 millimeters cubed within one centimeter cubed, okay? 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1,000, okay? So that means that when we go, when we're converting our units of volume, millimeters cubed, centimeters cubed, etc., and we're going up, same thing happens, we divide. So divide as we go up our scales of units, okay? Uh, and when we're going back down again, we multiply. When we're going down, we multiply. When we're going down, we multiply, okay? Uh, and now before, we went 10, 10 squared. Now we're up to cubic units. So we have, we multiply or divide by 10 cubed here. Okay, we saw that before. 1,000 is 10 cubed. Here we multiply or divide, depending upon what you need, by 100 cubed. And here we multiply or divide, depending on what you need, by 1,000 cubed. Okay, so that's so how we move up and down the volume one. Now, you will also need to be able to uh, talk about measures of volume. Okay, so before we get into milliliters, liters, and kiloliters, I want to also I want to tell you that one milliliter is the same as uh, one cubic centimeter. Okay, they're the same thing. Okay, right. So once that's the main thing you want to look at. That if you can get a measurement into cubic centimeters, it's quite easy to go into milliliters because they're interchangeable. Okay. So when we're going from milliliters to liters. Okay, milli. This prefix here. Okay, it means a thousandth. Okay, so it's a th we're going to we're going to be multiplying or dividing by a thousand to get between here. So as we're going to a larger unit, we divide, and as we're going from to a small unit, you will multiply. So there are a thousand milliliters in a liter. Okay, right, kiloliters. Kilo. Think about kilometer and meters. There are a thousand meters in a kilometer, so there are a thousand liters in a kiloliter. So if you're going from liters to kiloliters, you will divide by a thousand. If you're going kiloliters to liters, you will multiply by one thousand. Right. Additionally, just want to let you know that you've had, there's another in some of the questions you've been asked to deal with megaliters. Okay. So mega is capital M L, uh, and that's another thousand kiloliters in a megaliter. So when you're going up, you will divide by one thousand, and you will Multiply by 1,000 when you're going back down the scale, okay? So uh, with this volume conversion units, please don't freak out too much. Um, it's just something that's good to get a handle on because sometimes you do need to be, move between things, especially as you go up into the different areas of science. This kind of learning will really, really, really help you, especially if you get into chemistry or physics. There is so much being able to deal with different units and transmitting quite easily between them, okay? Uh, thank you for watching.